The F-4H-1, developed by the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation for the United States Navy, is an advanced supersonic all-weather two-place carrier-based fighter. Primarily designed as an interceptor, 4H-1 is also capable of long-range special weapons attack. The airplane is powered by two General Electric J79-2 engines, which provide it with exceptional performance, power, and reliability. The two-man crew, pilot and radar operator, permit an efficient and effective utilization of the normal armament of air-to-air -air missiles under foul weather and enemy ECM environment. The F-4H was originally conceived in September 1953. McDonnell Aircraft Corporation was awarded a development contract and began work on the twin-engine aircraft, then designated by the Navy as the AH-1. To include latest concepts in aircraft weapon systems and fire control, the aircraft was later redesigned to utilize radar armament control systems to provide advanced air-to-air -air missile capability. Navigation and communication equipment were devised to enable the two-man crew to most effectively carry out all proposed roles and missions. In July 1955, design specifications were agreed upon and the airplane was redesignated as the F-4H. By November 1955, the F-4H mock-up was reviewed by the Navy. Cockpit arrangement and exterior lighting was inspected in August 1956, and the engine installation review was accomplished three months later. Utilizing scale models of the F-4H and with the close cooperation of the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, approximately 5,300 hours of wind tunnel and free flight testing was conducted to evaluate high and low speed flight and spin characteristics. High speed tests with a 5% solid steel model have resulted in the negative dihedral horizontal stabilizer to ensure excellent longitudinal stability at high supersonic speeds. Positive dihedral was incorporated in the outer wing panels to increase lateral stability and the vertical stabilizer was enlarged to improve directional stability at high Mach numbers. Still other tests were conducted with sections of the aircraft to perfect the boundary layer control system, to make certain the jet blast would not adversely affect the lowered stabilator, and to ascertain that the fully automatic variable ramp engine inlet duct would assure excellent performance and pressure recovery and provide the aerodynamic efficiency required for flight at extremely high speeds. To obtain additional data concerning aircraft drag and stability, rocket-boosted free flight tests were conducted with 5% scale models. Aircraft spin characteristics also were further evaluated by dropping free flight scale models from helicopters. As basic engineering neared completion, another significant portion of F-4H development was the ground test program. Much of the structural testing was to be conducted on this static test aircraft. All systems involving safety of flight and pilot safety, such as the ejection of the seat and pilot, were conducted before the first flight. Aircraft control systems built in full scale have been operated and tested in hundreds of hours of simulated flight conditions covering all conceivable aspects of flight. The pilots who were to make the initial flight tests of the F-4H first become familiar with characteristics of the aircraft through many hours at the controls and through the study of analog computer data. Actual construction of the F-4H began in August 1956. By the end of 1957, number one aircraft was on the final assembly line and well along toward completion. A 
Although completed in April 1958, much work still remained to be done before flight. The operation of all systems and controls had to be thoroughly checked. Vibration tests of all major components had to be made, and the extensive instrumentation was thoroughly wrung out. The aircraft was then towed to the engine run-up area, where the engines were put through exhaustive tests. Next came the high and low speed taxi and free takeoff runs to determine how the aircraft would handle on the ground. On Tuesday, May 27, 1958, Bob Little, McDonnell Aircraft Chief Test Pilot, climbs aboard for the first flight. With engines running smoothly, the F-4H moves out from the ramp. Lining the aircraft up with the runway, the pilot makes his final checks and is ready for takeoff. Moving rapidly down the runway, the F-4H is airborne in less than 2,000 feet. Landing gear and flaps are retracted, and the climb to altitude is on. Ground telemetering station communication is maintained with the pilot. Flight characteristics are monitored visually and permanently recorded for future study. The F-4H is capable of flying at greater than twice the speed of sound, can attain extremely high altitude, and has an exceptionally long range, greater than that of any previous Navy fighter. It can carry external fuel tanks, air-to-air -air missiles, special weapons, and a variety of other stores on stations beneath the wings and fuselage. In addition, a bombing system incorporated in the airplane permits the use of various delivery techniques of conventional and nuclear weapons. The present guaranteed performance is, in most instances, considerably better than the performance specified by the Navy. This is due to the greater thrust of the J-79 engine and to basic design improvements in the aircraft. Still further improvement in performance is forecast when the F-4H is equipped with the greater thrust Dash 2A engines. Additional improvements, which will increase F-4H versatility and enhance combat effectiveness, already are contemplated for later models. Installation of a larger radar antenna will increase search range and scan angle. The attachment of multi-purpose pylons to the wings will enable the craft to carry additional and more advanced missiles. The inclusion of special equipment will permit effective ground control of all missions. With its generous wing area and extensive leading and trailing edge flaps, landings are easily made at conventional speeds.
a para-brake is incorporated to reduce landing rollout and save tire and brake wear. The pilot taxis the F4H into the ramp. Yes, congratulations are in order because the Navy's newest carrier-based fighter is born. The thousands of man years devoted by hundreds of individuals have created not just another aircraft, but one which significantly surpasses the performance and capabilities of any aircraft now in service. The F-4H-1 provides the United States Navy with an even higher degree of defensive and offensive power.